that down. Let's move on to our next topic here, shall we? Paris, what do we got up next? All right. Well, one of the big surprise hits in recent years was Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool 3 director Sean Levy's Free Guy. The film scored an 80% critic rating and a 94% audience rating, leaving fans waiting for news about a possible sequel. But now Levy is sounding less and less optimistic about the chances of a free guy saying, we don't need to make sequels. So, mm. John, do you think we'll eventually get a free guy too? <sighs> you know, <laughs> deep sigh. There's a, there's a balance in the universe. You wake up, you're all excited. It's Deadpool day. It's game day. And then you get slapped in the face with the penis of destiny telling you, you don't get free guy too. And that brings the overall enthusiasm down. It brought my enthusiasm down. <laughs> the penis of destiny. <laughs> anyway, just right across the old face. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Listen, you guys know I love, it's going to leave a mark. Oh, looking like Phantom's <laughs> offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's the that. music of the night. <laughs> and he hits your face all the time. <laughs> so, I listen. I you get for those of you who've watched the show for a couple of years. I love, love free guy. I mean, Ann and I, we loved it so much. That like we went back to the theater to see it like three times in the first five or six days that it was out. Now I am a although I only post to Rotten Tomatoes about once a year. I am a sort of verified whatever Rotten Tomato critic, but I only really post on it like once a year or so. But I love that movie so much that people involved with Free Guy literally wrote to me and said, "Hey, uh, you love our movie. We're so grateful for that." But we noticed you haven't put up a Rotten Tomatoes review for that. Can you please go put up? Because you clearly love the movie. Like, that's how much I loved it. I, I, I love this thing des desperately. And look, does the story of Free Guy need a sequel? Absolutely not. But sometimes, like in TV shows, sometimes I just love the characters so much. I just want to go back and visit those characters again. And, you know, a number of months ago, Sean Levy was sounding maybe a little bit optimistic. But like Paris said, now with his recent comments, doesn't sound likely. This comes to us from the good folks over at Joe Blow, who wrote the following. While, pe while speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, Sean Levy, who is also directing Deadpool and Wolverine and directed Free Guy, had this to say when asked about Free Guy 2. We've worked for two years on ideas and scripts. I'm less certain now. Because like the Adam Project, which was also pretty darn good, by the way, I like the Adam Project, not nearly as much as Free Guy, but I like the Adam Project. We're really proud of the movie and we don't need to make sequels. If we don't crack a story that feels very worthy making, we'd rather just make a different movie. Although I had fun with Free Guy, it wasn't the movie that, that screamed, I need a sequel to me. As Levy said, not every movie needs a sequel and if they can't crack a worthwhile story, it's best just to leave it alone. So... Look, it's important to point out that he's not saying definitively that, nope, we've officially, we've scrapped it. We, we've took it, we've taken a shot at it for a couple of years. We can't really find the story that we want to tell, so we're officially moving away from it. He's not saying that, but he is saying we don't need to make it, and I feel less certain now because, because not only that, but as more and more time passes, more and more ideas come up more projects come across their desks. Yeah. They're going to get busier with other things. And eventually, like your old roommate in college who you lost touch with 18 years ago and month after month, you just forget they even existed. And it, it sounds like that's what's going to be happening here with Did it do Free well, though? Like in I think it did. Ray, look I'm it up. What did Because maybe if it did really, really well, <laughs> it, it would, but may, maybe they're worried about the numbers. I believe it did quite it well did, for, uh, for a small film. Worldwide, like, 331. So 331, yeah. I remember it, it like basically broke even yeah. and stuff like that. It's a wildly wonderful film. But you're right. It's not the kind of box office numbers that, look, they never were going to do a Joker 2. Made over a billion dollars, won some Academy Awards. Suddenly, it's very high on the priority list. It didn't have the kind of success that makes it a high priority for a studio to say, come on, Sean, got to do this sequel. So 
I'm kind of bummed out yeah. about it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash campia and use the code campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? It doesn't sound like Sean Levy's all that amped up about getting back to do a free guy too. And, and maybe you think that's for the best. I personally would still love to see the characters again, but whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.